The top official for the United Nations will head to Moscow today as the U.N. continues its push for peace in Ukraine. Stuart Smith is our Moscow correspondent. He joins us now from the Russian capital. Um, Stuart, uh, U.N. Secretary General Antonio Guterres uh, plans to visit with uh, Russian President Vladimir Putin. Um, anything could come of this? What do you think? Yeah, he's just spoken with the Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov over a working lunch and the Foreign Minister is speaking now. It doesn't sound like the UN Secretary General's visit has changed anything in the minds of the Foreign Minister. He's still talking about why he feels it's justified for Russia to enter Ukraine. The UN Secretary General was hoping to try and arrange some kind of further humanitarian support for the civilians in Ukraine, maybe humanitarian corridors, maybe getting United Nations aid into those besieged cities like Mariupol. And he also wanted to to try and talk to the foreign minister and president about ways to uh, try to start to find a way to end the conflict and also try and get Russia and Ukraine talking again after at least a week and a half where diplomacy seems to be at record low levels since the so-called special military operation began. It's not clear yet whether he's achieved any of those aims. He hasn't been speaking with the Russian president uh, since the so-called special military operation began because the United Nations Secretary General criticized criticized it and called it something that violated the United Nations Charter. Is Russia even interested in this at this point in peace talks? Ukraine says not. Having said that, Russia says Ukraine isn't either. A lot of what's going on now seems to depend on the military activity, i.e. there's a lot to be gained and a lot to be lost with this so-called phase two of the military operation in the east of Ukraine. And while that's going on, we haven't really seen huge amounts of effort from either side in terms of carrying on the negotiations. But the Russian foreign ministry would say it is. It most recently sent a draft to the Ukrainian side with some proposals for peace. Having said that, the Ukrainian president Volodymyr Zelensky says he hasn't read it, and that's frustrated the Russian Foreign Ministry. In terms of who else might be able to help, the UN Secretary General was talking, talking to Turkey earlier in the week, President Erdogan. He did manage to get Ukraine and Russia together in person in Istanbul, and after those negotiations, it seemed like there was a path forward. Well, the UN Secretary General spoke to him. He's now spoken with the Russian President, and he's going to speak with the Ukrainian President on Thursday, perhaps with all of these people being linked up and the help of the UN, at least humanitarian assistance assistance can be agreed upon. Lots of talks happening and uh, meanwhile the violence just continues particularly out east in Ukraine. Stuart Smith reporting from Moscow for us. Thanks Stuart.